Welcome, Eurovision fans! So I just saw that Eurovox put out a video with Kobe Marimi, an interview, so I'm going to listen to it. Uh, go check out their channel. They're incredibly nice people and have been supportive on a lot of the other smaller channels. They come and post a comment every once in a while, and you see them do it with a lot of them. So I really appreciate that, helping other content creators grow, and we all grow together, rather than be like rivals and all that crap. Like I'd rather help promote other people who are good people, and we all grow together. That's my theory about all this. So check out Eurovox, subscribe to them, and let's watch the Kobe Marimi interview because I really want to see this. You like that homeboy? Oh boy. Homeboy <laughs> Kobe. Kobe, how you doing? I'm, I'm great. Uh, so excited to be here. I like his shirt too. I need that shirt. <laughs> right? A shirt like that. Well, I have to tell you off because what you did to me yesterday with your rehearsal... I was covered in goosebumps. I was almost oh. crying. You must have heard about what people thought of rehearsal. It was crazy. Thank you so much. Actually, I was surprised because I, I'm a perfectionist. I, I want everything to be perfect. And it was the first rehearsal, so not everything was perfect. And I thought, I, 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 when I went off stage, I, I saw you on YouTube and I, I watched uh, the reactions of other people and they gave me many compliments and I was so happy about it. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, hey. All I can say is that it's going to be better. <laughs> well, I don't see how it can get. It was perfect to me. We it's trust you, Kobe. In the press center. So much applause, so much support for you. It's amazing to see. Thank you. And that's what you're all about, isn't it? You're, I mean, don't hate me for this, but you're not a very serious guy in real life. <laughs> when you're on stage, it's all about... You know, it's all about... He flips the switch. <laughs> you wouldn't convey that. Uh, thank you. Um... For me, being on stage, I think I, I, I already told you that. For me, it's uh, it's my place and my opportunity to to scream and, and cry and and um, and on real life, I like to hide it. And Got to stop this for a minute because that's a point that um, people will make comments. You know, why do you cry during music and why do you cry during songs? What he just said, that's exactly these reactions and doing this. This gives me a chance to do this. I am usually very serious, very stoic, very stone-faced at work. I'm a professional and I sit there like a stone the entire night. I've got thoughts running my, through my head. Like tonight I was dreaming and thinking, I'm like, oh, I want to go to Iceland and I want to go see the Northern Lights. Oh, you know what I should do? I should go to Iceland and then go to Ireland to the Cliffs of Moher for, uh, <laughs> for Halloween, for Salem. Uh, you know, and I have all these dreams and thoughts running through my mind, but I'm stone faced and I'm sitting there like I'm hating my life. And that's how I am at work and how I am in profession. But in real life, I've got all these dreams and I've got so much love to give and so much passion and and there's so much that I want to do and see and travel experience and uh, um, doing these videos that all kind of comes to a head. So when I hear a really beautiful song that touches me, that's why you see all the emotions pouring out is because the, because the other aspects of my life, I don't allow that to happen. So I really like that. Back to Kobe. <laughs> Sorry. Detour. Being the funny guy. So uh, I, I, I'm happy that uh, it did something to you, and I hope that in the real thing, in, in U real Eurovision, in the final, I'll do it to uh, more people live. You will, Kobe. Well, I'm going to tell you. You we will. I've been in Tel Aviv since we've been here. We'd be more than happy to come back. You have to again next year. So everyone needs to vote for Kobe. Yeah. This year, that's my message to our viewers. Vote for Kobe. Let's come back to Israel again. I'm we'll sending some votes your way, Israel. I got some friends that are going to be repeating voting. <laughs> welcoming all these different artists and different countries to your because this is your home. How many times can we say home in one interview? I, I'm saying home a lot. Yesterday I said house because I talked about my house, and then I said no, home. Yeah. <laughs> I fixed myself. Um, it's amazing. We have a WhatsApp group. Uh, of all the contestants. Is that real? We heard about this, but yeah. we didn't know if it was real. <laughs> yeah, it is real. And we just celebrate Independence Day and everyone celebrated and sent videos with the flags and it, it was crazy on, on the streets and I was so happy that uh, you all got the opportunity to be here and, and, and celebrate and see Tel Aviv and Israel and got, get the full experience. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. And you guys know how to party. We saw an Independence <laughs> Day. That was crazy. Yeah, it, it is crazy. It is very crazy. Wow. <laughs> what did you do for Independence Day? Uh, actually, I, I did not perform uh, because I'm 
um, saving my voice for Eurovision. Uh, I just, uh, um, I, I've been in my house with a friend, we watched television, <laughs> and that's it, relaxed. Uh, for the first time, I, I just was in my home in uh, Independence Day. We love all the different versions of Kobe, so we've got relaxed Kobe, we've got casual Kobe, we've got serious Kobe, jokey Kobe. Ballroom so dancing Kobe's with Deb and Kobe. Uh, <laughs> uh, we think it's like, it's crazy Kobe overall. Oh, I don't think we've seen crazy Kobe, yeah. <laughs> because there's so many faces. People uh, will think I'm okay. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, very important here. But anyway, listen, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, Thank you. We can't wait to see you perform again. And if you, I don't know how you can improve it, but you say you're going to make it better. Um, it's perfect for us. We can't wait to see you. Thank you. I, I love doing interview with you, interviews, interviews with you. Oh, and thank you. You're so kind and, and thank you so much. Uh, always a pleasure. It's Kobe. And you as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kobe, guys, the homeboy. <laughs> Oh, so good. So yeah, I love that. It's fun. You know, nice short video. And uh, I do love how warm Andy is here. He's a great interviewer and he seems like a really phenomenal human being. So please, please, please go to Eurovox, give this video a like, support Eurovox and support Kobe and vote for Kobe next Saturday. Because I sure am going to have people voting for Kobe. I love the song, love his story, and uh, it's just nice how he's, you know, he checks out the reactions. I've seen he's put my videos on his Instagram and his stories. I've seen that. Um, it's just been awesome. You know, he supports us, we support him, and it's just a great circle. So Kobe is a fantastic artist, great story, and uh, I am so proud and happy to support an amazing artist like Kobe Marimi at Eurovision 2019. So for now and kobe uh by the way on instagram you keep sharing all these like dessert photos and photos of food and it makes me hungry a lot so uh keep doing it because food looks good but <laughs> it makes me want all this food now but for now lethargic sloth out <laughs>